Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> for the trials, like when we first met, remember? Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving.
approach the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. <sighs> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, <gasps> Dillian. Listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You're nearly there. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. Another way, it's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find a think, another way. Think, 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 focus. Uh, use your mind. Where he you disappears. Oh, it's, it's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me.
It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you! No! They will turn their back on you! The gods can only fix you through my hand! You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods! Come, child, take my hand. Come. It's anyone. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. 